Happy Thursday, Fest Flyers! My name's Caitlin, and welcome to our Halloween special. Today is October 29th, 2020, which is National Cat Day. Now, on with the rest of your news. Hi, my name's Ari Sanginetti, and I'm here to talk to you about Fright Ride. Now, I'm pretty sure you've heard a lot of cool and amazing things about it, but let's hear how the creators of it describe it. Take a ride on one of our research transport vehicles and participate in our fear diagnosis as you cruise through 75,000 scare feet and Dr. Craven's top secret research lab. Now, back to my words. Make sure you have someone 18 and older with you. Tickets are $34.99. You can purchase your tickets online. The ride is approximately 30 minutes and in those 30 minutes, you see all of your greatest fears. Clowns, scary dolls, and the purge. Make sure to stay safe and wear a mask, but most important, have fun and get your scare on. Hello, Fist Fires. My name is Evelyn, and welcome back to another episode of Festflix Fridays. And welcome to our Halloween special. I really hope you guys enjoy this edition of Festflix Fridays. So, um, sorry. Let's get on to your news. So, I'm going to be sharing with you some ways to stay safe while trick or treating. So, first, this one's for the parents. So, if you guys are watching, here's are some suggestions to keep you and children healthy while still having kids get some candy during COVID. So you can set up a station of individually wrapped items for kids to take and make sure to avoid direct contact. Second, make sure to wear a mask. And remember, a costume mask is not a substitute for a cloth mask. And do not wear a cloth mask under a costume mask. It can make breathing difficult. Third, make sure to stay six feet from those people who are not in your immediate family while trick or treating. And lastly, be slave flyers. And just a reminder, Remember, on Halloween, we get an extra hour, which means you can have an extra hour of trick-or-treating. But shh, don't tell anyone it's between me and you, okay? And as always, have an amazing weekend, Flyers, and have an amazing Halloween. Bye! Hi, Fall Flyers, welcome back to another special edition weather report with your favorite weather report, Sun. Less. It is Halloween and it's going to be very, very chilly outside today. So make sure you are bringing your favorite sweater or jacket outside while you are going trick or treating or either passing out candy as well as going through your favorite haunted houses of the year. It is going to be the high of 72 degrees and the low of 50 degrees. As well as it's going to be very windy outside about going 15 miles per hour to 25 miles per hour. It is also going to be no rain outside whatsoever, so just be prepared for that. So there's going to be no rain. We are also going to be reversing our clocks at night time, so we are going to be falling. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I'm okay. Like I said, we are going to be reversing our clocks to make them fall back. Um, that was weird. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put on my costume. I'll catch you guys next week with another weather report. Bye! Boo! Did I scare you? Really? Not even a chuckle? Okay. Hey Flyers, my name is Leah and this week on Fab 5, well, really Fab 10, we're gonna be talking about the top 5 candies and Halloween costumes. First is candies. The most popular is a Reese's. Next, Kit Kat. Third, Snickers. Fourth, M&M's. And fifth is Skittles. Next is costumes. Most popular is a witch. Then dinosaur. Then Harley Quinn. Rabbit. And lastly is a clown. That's it for this week. Have a great weekend and make sure to stay safe on Halloween. Bye. Hello, Flyers. Today you're talking with the lie. I'm going to be telling you the top five Halloween movie. So coming in first place, The Night Before Christmas. This movie personally feels like it deserves to be in first place because it is a well-known movie and it expresses about Halloween and Christmas. So coming in second place, Coco. This is a Mexican movie and it inspires a lot of people. But for some reason, it was made in 2017 and it feels like it was just yesterday it came out. Now, Halloween. I actually never watched this movie and it's an oldies movie 
known because it is made in 1978. I believe it might be a little kids movie, but I have no idea. So go ahead and watch it if you never have. Now the Halloween tree. This actually seems like a horror movie because I did see the cover of this one. But it is also made in 1993 as well as The Nightmare Before Christmas. So I might actually watch it. Hey, Fest Flyers, it's your proud principal, Mr. West. Just want to do a couple quick celebrations before we get to my words of wisdom. Uh, this week, you might be celebrating Halloween. I know some cultures uh, celebrate it, and it's a, a big part of, of what they do. Obviously, I know everybody loves candy. Um, so please be safe if you're choosing to go out there or to be at events. Remember, we want to practice social distancing and wearing your masks. Um, also, I want to celebrate my Dodgers, finally, after 32 years, winning the World Series. Excited for uh, the whole city of LA, my, my birthplace. And then um, this week is Miss Ray's birthday. She's turning 40, I forget what that is now this. And then, um, of course, Saturday also marks Nevada Day, the day um, that we celebrate um, that our state, our great state, became part of the United States. So um, let's talk about my words of wisdom now. So we've talked before about what it means to be a philanthropist or philanthropy, um, kind of like our house of, of uh, altruism, right? So at age 85, American philanthropist Walter Annenberg gave $365 million to our schools. As Mr. Annenberg journeyed through his life, he not only accumulated a great deal of wealth, he accumulated a great deal of wisdom. In fact, when he gave away $365 million, he said, I'm interested in the young people because the character of our country will be shaped by the young people in the days ahead. In other words, each generation, each generation shapes its future. If you and your fellow students choose to be honest, fair, kind, and responsible citizens, imagine how amazing our country can be. You have the opportunity to shape the future of our entire nation. Together, you decide. So with something to think about, this is your proud principal, Mr. West. I know our whole country is going to be making some decisions on Election Day this week. Um, so uh, be safe. Um, have a great weekend. You have a little bit of time off coming up. So um, make it great or not. The choice is always yours.